going to have the first down yardage to the 35. running left and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37 yard line that's going to go as a loss of two and it'll be second down brandon that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long they've had no success getting things going i think for the offensive coordinator he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different back now in buffalo and this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter, a very one-sided affair. Watch two, watch two. Right, here On second down, here's Peterman. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Here's Peterman to throw, and he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it online, but it comes up about a rotation short. Well, he had it on line, gave it a pretty good ride, too, but in the end, he's a victim of the crossbar. And, Brandon, you know kickers very well. I bet if we ask him after the game, he'll say he didn't get all of it. We've seen him hit from deeper than this in warm-ups, but here, he's a foot or so from clearing that bar. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Well, I'd say that runs pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, this offensive line has controlled the line of scrimmage, giving them time to throw it, run it, do whatever they wanted. That's why their point's up on the board. And right now, the psyche of the offense, we're in control, and we can do whatever we feel like doing out here on the field. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit him over the top. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and they're going to face a third down. Brent, that's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Alfred Morris punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys add on. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. This is taken at the three. Bad return here. He gets it out to the 25 yard line. And now out come the Bills. Last time out, they had that long 50 plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, 
Less of a field goal attempt for him. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Second and 10, Peterman again. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackle. Right, and they go. played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. And this is going to be incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but... They took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. And this is a way. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And that last drive... It was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Big run here in the fourth as they continue to wear down this defense. And that's when the offensive line coach clicks onto the headset and says, head coach, offense coordinator, let my guys fire out and hit people. We're wearing them down. Let's finish them off with the running game. A gain of three, second down. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Escaping the pressure right. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked the ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it. And he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And now we've hit that stage of the game, partner, where one of our predecessors, one of the great commentators of all time, he's to sing in this situation when this game appeared to be over. <laughs> I know the fat lady's been singing for some no, time. No, 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 not her at all. This but one of she's our guys. singing too. Oh, she's singing. She, yeah, she's at she's least, on like the fifth tune at yeah, this point. Yeah, she, she left scales way behind, but he's to sing something about turning out the lights. The party was over. Bailey now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling no again. you don't want that feeling again and who knows you may meet up right, with this go. team again green, 39, green, 39. second and 10 now peterman and seeing nowhere to throw he chucks this one away from harm incomplete now it's third down 
What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. From the gun on third down, Peterman. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Right side complete to Butler. Oh, and now he pulls him over. And he is down deep in a Buffalo territory. That goes for a gain of 31. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Dance into his left. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. He'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. He'll look to throw. He lost two there, and it's third down. The offense on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and goal. Back to throw. And this will be caught, and the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. I tell you, Charles. You play to the final whistle, I get that, but there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with this one. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited, fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points from me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. This will be taken in at the one. He's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. So Charles are able to complete what so often seems to be elusive, a shutout in the NFL. And maybe what's fitting is they ended the game on the field, that defensive unit on the field. What an exclamation mark. And probably felt like they could go another 60 minutes without anyone putting points on the board against them. That's the confidence you gain throughout when you're pitching a shutout. And they're going to leave the stadium feeling like they're all 10 feet tall. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Buffalo.